My name is Doug Kaufman. I'm 44 years old. I'm bankrupt and I'm divorced. I'm going to take you back to July 27, 2007. I was living the dream. At that point in my life, I had no ever experienced a life crisis or anything major going on. I had a great family, wife, four beautiful boys, 11 and under. <laughs> Ethan, you're six. Okay, I'm six. Ethan, your favorite number? I knew what I was doing at that point in my life, as far as a career, was not my purpose in life. It was something I was wanting to do and I enjoyed doing. I was in real estate and I had rentals and rehabbed homes. But I knew it wasn't what, where God wanted me. 2008 rolls around and that was a very difficult year for me financially because the real estate bubble was upon us. I had over leveraged in some properties, over leveraged myself and I missed my first mortgage payment ever that year in February. By mid-year I'd missed a couple other mortgage payments on some investment properties and by the end of the year I had exhausted all options and at that point it looked like my only option was bankruptcy. I did go ahead and file bankruptcy, lost all my net worth, everything I'd worked for up to that point. I was 40, 42 years old. And I remember telling my wife at that point, you know, we still had our house, we got each other, we have our health, we have our boys, and we'll get through this. I'll earn it back. We'll make it. Well, three weeks later, my marriage. The most difficult day of my entire life was the day I found out that my wife was leaving me for someone else and that our family was going to be broken up. I never thought I'd be divorced. I'm 44 years old and I'm divorced and a single dad. I never thought that I'd basically only see my kids half their lives because of our custody. And I, I just never thought I'd be going into their rooms, their empty rooms, and praying by their bedside with them not in their bed and praying for them. I never thought I'd witness the pain and the hurts and the suffering that a lot of a lot of us went through because of this. I I never thought I'd not be able to fix it, to take it away, to fix the hurts. I never thought my life would go wrong. I never thought my story would be this. But I also never thought through all the years of being a Christian that I could have this close of a personal relationship with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I knew that God was going to use this story or my story or this situation for good to help other people and to bring glory to Him. One of the things that got me through those times was when it helped me understand maybe my purpose in going through this, or I, I know God didn't want our divorce. He doesn't want, he hates divorce. But in James chapter one, starting at verse two, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that testing your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. 
The premise of Hope 360 has always been the same, that there's hope in Jesus no matter what life devastating events that you're going through.